welcome to episode 61 of the Youth Squad Legends series with AFC Wimbledon. Gillingham Football Club, who I dub as the most boring team in the world, are not irrelevant or boring anymore because they've just signed John Akinde. So now we have to find a new club. It's got to be a mixture of boring badge, boring club. They've not done anything in recent history. There's definitely some candidates that I'm looking at, but I'm gonna hand it over to you instead. And if we are in agreement of a certain club, then they become the most irrelevant and boring. But I'm telling you, good on Gillingham for actually sorting themselves out. Goose Winkles, Ruben Cook. Ruben Cook is central attacking midfielder. Their right back is low rated and he's the captain apparently. They've given the captain's armband to a regen. All right, Derby County against AFC Wimbledon. Big game for Stiapovic this. We need him to perform. Go, you bang it! Ugh. Oh, 100 goals for AFC Wimbledon. That's 100 pounds to the autism charity. Excellent stuff. That's a ball to Boris, and it's an easy goal. Obi Jack has drifted away from Wittiness Chavango Jr. Jr. It's 1 0 Wimbledon. I'm honestly not too sure if this is on the right difficulty. Ah, through ball. Obi Jack is in. He's got his second. Yes, great finish by Mr. Obby Jackers. We are slicing Derby up and I don't think this is on the right difficulty. They're making it way too easy for me right now. I am not breaking sweat whatsoever and neither is Schneg with the size of that headband. Go you! Go you! The state of this Derby County defence! Oh, this cannot be ultimate difficulty. I reject that notion completely. Look at what Boris has just done to them. I'll take it. I mean, we're getting closer and closer to the title. Here's the thing, right? That slider setup has been shared all over the place. I got a message on my mobile phone last night saying it got shared by a Brazilian YouTuber who had like 118,000 subscribers. I was like, nice one, mate. In Portuguese, of course. But if this is ultimate yet, yeah, I will delete that video. I'm that confident that it isn't ultimate difficulty. As soon as we finish with the Premier, it's gone. I love me a bit of Ruben Cook. <laughs> Good half football, 3-0 Wimbledon. Very, very easy. Ball over everybody apart from Schneg. Since the difficulty is obviously Shot. Here comes Desabato. Back to the keeper, boys. Marvellous, brilliant. It's Desabato. Oh, boy. <laughs> His dribbling so bad, every single skill move is like super slow. He's at it again. No, Desabato has won it this time. Go on, Desabato. No, it's not a fault. Just carry on, mate. Now I have to get Desabato on the free kick and pass it back to him. Huh. Huh. Oh! <laughs> You've got to love it! Desabato! How many more skills can I whip out here? Oh! oh Wittiness Chavango Jr. That 83 overall was having none of it. Here comes Desabato again. <laughs> With the step overs. Step overs are the go to. Someone's fallen over. Go on, Desabato! Oh! Like, you've got an open net. Just shoot. Shoot! I don't think I'm going to do any skills here. Just try and get around. Oh! Desabato! Oh, that's a yellow card, isn't it? Marvellous billiards in the net. <laughs> yellow card for Desabato. Now, I've got to be... What are you doing? I've got to be careful because if I get him sent off, someone outfield has to go in the net. Off the head of Schneck will be a Derby County corner kick. Desabato is coming out for it and gets lost in the crowd. Well in, mate. As a goalkeeper, he's not that good. Here comes Desabato. He didn't even do any skills there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. If they score now, I am done for. I will never be able to forget. So here goes Boris Stiapovic getting it away from my goal. Really away from my goal. He's motoring. Plays a ball into a conquest. The strength on show, Mr. Mikel Okonkwo shuts these home fans up. And back to Desabato we go. He started moving now. Desabato, great slide tackle that, mate. Go you. Back to Desabato. I don't know what he's doing. Ooh, heel to heel flick by Desabato. He's running out of stamina quite quickly. Come on, Desabato. This is so difficult to run with him. Yeah, that's a nice little move. There's loads of players running now, so there's going to be a gap, surely. Desabato! Head it back! Head it back! Oh, no! Oh, dear me. And he is open. There's no one in the net. He's gone for the chip. 
visualize a game before you play it, and I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I've <laughs> oh, just given it them again. Are oh, they sweaty? Are oh, you silly? <laughs> <laughs> the cheek of it. Sweaty on the open net mental. Right, full time here. Derby County 3, Wimbledon 4. No skill run from Desaboto. I want to know what difficulty that was. No words. Just no words for that. That's a 14 point lead, lads. Feels good, man. That was on ultimate. No. No. I, no. No! What? Bristol City against AFC Wimbledon. I'm really confused now. Kill him! Oh! Oh, he's gone! Kill him off, Landry Rune! Schneg up there. Oh, he really has schnegged it up there. <laughs> Pass to the goalkeeper. Maybe they fixed ultimate difficulty. I'm just going to restore the defaults. I am playing on base ultimate now. I just don't get why Schneg has become this focal point. He's so good. He's good against better strikers. Oh, there's a goal for Bristol City. Skipped past the tackle, Bright Chateau. Around Obi Jacker's goal, Wimbledon. I'm stumped. There's not been an update. There might have been a hot fix. Schneg takes it out of danger. See the pass here to Adam Nichols. Now, what can he do? He's trying to set himself up for the long shot. Adam Nichols loves a long shot. What a goal. Shrugged off the attention. Absolutely stunning by Adam Nichols. What a fantastic goal to give us the lead in this one. Django Swinkles. That's smashed up there and chased by a Conquo with them thick legs. The thuck legs. <laughs> Some dude in the last Premier. I'm guessing he mixed thick with chunk and got thuck. Ah! Oh, front post goal there by Bristol City. Oh dear, Bright Chateau should have got that. It's not going to be a long shot. It's a great initial save. But Bristol City are now in the lead. Right, so we've lost this game. Definitely wasn't the stressful experience of playing Ultimate prior to today. I'm interested to see what they've actually done to this, because that actually played pretty nicely. I was winning headers, but obviously the AI was very competitive and they won the game eventually. Another clip of this Adam Nichols pile driver. That's a great goal. We have just been offered the manager role at Hoffenheim. It's a week between games from now until the end of the season, so I think we're going to just stay with the same lineup. Our opponents seem fine, so it's AFC Wimbledon against Preston North End. Keep up. Oh, Schneck. Well played. Great clearance. Here's Enzo They love that. Shame that didn't go any further because Callum O'Flannery is picking up a lovely spot in the middle. Here comes Schneck. Bright Chateau winning a header. Yes, lad. There's a volley. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, lovely ball in. The drilled in crosses are something that I'm going to have to get used to. Apart from the three minutes where they hit the post and then score in the next attack, this has been a very even game. Go on, Bright Chateau. Oh my goodness. It's a red. It's a red. It's a red. Red card, please. That has to be a red card. Send him off. Get him gone. There is no need for that. He was the last man. It's not going to be a penalty. It has to be a red card here. Referee. Do the right thing, thank you. Obby Jackers from 19 yards out, no dip. Just gonna try and find that top corner. Obby, on target. It's another one on target, but no goal from a free kick just yet. They don't seem to have filled in that center back spot, so they're playing with three defenders. It's drifted into the back post and another goal for Preston North End. 10 man Preston. 2-0 up. They've kept some kind of speed boost on these players because Okonkwo hasn't been playing very well. Although he's got a chance now. Well in Okonkwo. Good goal. He's off for a short pass there on the goal kick. Adam Nichols trying to send Callum O'Flannery. Lovely ball that to our speedy Irish winger. Hey, Boris! 36 yards out. We're not going to go for a shot. Instead, trying to throw ball. Maybe drops to Boris. It's a foul free kick. Oh, and Maguire is off now. No, it's not. It's the Greek guy. We're going short to Bright Chateau on the edge of the box. I'm not fancying a long shot with him, to be honest. Preston down to nine men. A Schneg tackle. Go on, Schneg. Insane. Callum O'Flannery. Oh, yes. Callum 
Oh! Quite disappointing. Only a draw against nine-man Preston North End. Does show how important speed is in this game. Not getting this over the line. Fortunately, Leeds United are stuttering. Nine-point gap. I swear we were 11 points going into that last game, unless Leeds United had a game in hand. Final game of this episode, Huddersfield Town against AFC Wimbledon. We're at the Kirkley Stadium. And I've got Eric Melville as my striker. I need to sort that out on the main menu. I'll we'll keep on making that mistake. Early corner kick for Huddersfield. Three minutes in. It's going to be short. Not taken away by Eric Melville. On the edge of the box. Saved by Enzo Bardi. Commentators were just talking about something. And I think it might have been if we win this game, we get promotion. Nine points could make 12. I don't know. If Leeds United have played and lost, then we might be promoted. What a great save. Enzo Bardi has started really quick. Corner kick, Huddersfield, away by Eric Melville. Another shot comes in, and it's another save by Enzo Bardi. Yes, a Conquo by Kiel. OB Jackers was making a hole. I was actually trying to find a Conquo with that. Oh my goodness, passing is shocking. Boris, I mean, I don't know how we've actually scored that because my passing all the way through that move was terrible. By the way, well done, Boris Stiapovic. What a great goal scoring return this is back in the first team. It's Callum O'Flannery. Getting outpaced, really? Enriquez for Huddersfield Moy. That's a great save, mate. Enzo Bordi. Bockhorn, not that quick. Lindsay is terrible. McNair's not quick. Sankhon's not quick. How are they catching my players up? Unless Enzo Bordi keeps up the madness from the first half, we are going to lose this game. Well, in again. Strong right hand. Six corners to zero. That shows... Huddersfield's dominance and the sheer brilliance of our number one goalkeeper. Here we go, another save, well played mate, how many is that, about seven? Enzo Bardi with a punch away out of his box, incredible performance, he wants us to get promoted, big body tackle there by Schneg. This is youth squad legends without a soul, how can you stop Callum Flannery from running? Oh there you go. Right, this is it. This is the moment for Huddersfield. Stopped by Dalibor Bekic. I mean, I mean. <laughs> Who does that? Who does a bicycle kick back to your keeper knowing the pass back rule? Or are we finding something new out about Schneg? Oh, another amazing save by Enzo Bardi. Wow. Wow! A true captain's performance and another reason why Enzo Barney is the greatest that we've seen in that position. I'll be Jackers! We're so close to a win against Ultimate. We just need to whack this ball up. Yes, and kept possession. 1-0 Wimbledon and it's a promotion. Get in there! Even with this victory, it needs to get turned down. It needs to get toned down. We're going to ruin the season of Obi Jackers. He hasn't done anything wrong. It's just like bright chato when Ultimate was too difficult and he was getting beat in the air all the time. Huddersfield had 11 shots on target. What more do you want Enzo Bardi to do? That's a 10. He dropped a 10 right there. The dog's going crazy downstairs. Great. Just as Robert Grimmer had his day carrying a team to promotion, here is Enzo Bardi's moment. The next two games that we've got are both at home, so we can seal the title at Plough Lane. Time for a few comments, and it starts with a very reasonable one after that performance. Never met Enzo Bardi, but he's up there with my mum and my dad. Blue Belly Gaming says, Great job making this about your players and your series rather than blaming the game like so many creators do, and like I did this episode. <laughs> I do like to make it about my players, and I think it's a real big strength of Youth Squad Legends and the way that I make videos. This series makes me want to play FIFA. Then I play FIFA, and that makes me want to watch this series. <laughs> I'm convinced Enzo Bardi is a chicken at this point. If this was Football Manager, Bardi would have the message, dub the new Simon Kachunga. 100% correct. I can't think of anything more spot on than that. In order to make Jackers look more unique and special like the player he is, I would shave the goatee or change his facial hair so he looks a little bit less like Alexander Rosenberg. Horace, it's not up to me. Someone's got customization on Obi Jackers and if they want to change it, if they want to shave off his little goatee, 
then it's their call and only their call. It's got to the point where I don't even believe some of these players are real. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time.